In Michigan, we'll leave a lighthouse on for you. Over 100 historic lighthouses grace our shorelines, more than any other state in the Union. Just as these magnificent beacons help ships navigate through our lakes, look for this lighthouse to guide you and your family on your travels throughout our Great Lakes State. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. What's up with Richard? Today, we're at the I-94 Welcome Center here in Michigan, just north of the Indiana State Line. The nation's first highway travel information center opened on May 4, 1935 on US 12 at New Buffalo not far from here, and we'll visit that historic place in just a few minutes. Other states followed Michigan's lead and by 1985 there were 251 travel information centers across the nation. The new Buffalo Center was built by the Michigan State Highway Department, now the Michigan Department of Transportation, to welcome motorists entering the state via US-12. It was replaced at this site, where we're at right now, with its more modern building on April 6, 1972, after the I-94 freeway was completed. Michigan's statewide travel information program, which began in 1935, includes staff welcome centers and interpretive promotional and informational displays at rest areas and roadside parks across the state. And this is the site of the very first Tourist Information Welcome Center in the United States. As automobile travel became accessible to more and more people, the state of Michigan, to encourage tourism by automobile, developed the Trunkline Highway System in 1913. And this road right here was part of that system, starting at the state line just down the road south of here. It was named the West Michigan Pike. It eventually was renamed M11 sometime between 1918 and 1920, when state trunk lines were numbered. The United States numbered highway system on November 11, 1926 designated the road from the Indiana State Line to St. Joseph and Benton Harbor, then east to Detroit, US 12. So as you can see, this was a great place to establish America's first tourist information center as New Buffalo was the gateway into Michigan via Indiana for visitors, especially from the big city of Chicago, Illinois. Let's take a quick peek inside this historic old building. Quite a difference from the place we just were out on I-94, but it served its purpose for 37 years. 